Hi YouTube, it's Cheryl. I'm just coming with a very fast video just showing you the finished shower gels. Unfortunately, they're not labeled yet. I had to buy uh, ink for my printer, um, but I hopefully will be labeling them um, this week. So I'll just go from this end here. This one here is the Cranberry Spice, which is the original one that I showed in the last video. So this is a very beautiful, spicy, sweet berry scent, and it's a uh, red color. This one is an apple cider barrel, and this is a apple cinnamony, cidery kind of smell. Very nice, very Christmassy and fall-like. And this is in a green. This one here, um, I only have one of, and I, the bottle dropped, so it's kind of... Um, uh, shaken up and has some bubbles there but this one it's a little bit more cloudy and I'm suspecting it's because of the vanilla in the fragrance oil um, this one is scented in elf sweat um, I didn't color the base I just left it as it is because I figured it might I wasn't sure what it was gonna do in terms of the vanilla but it looks like it's darkened and it's a little bit more cloudy than the other ones but this is smells really good it's got like candy scent and peppermint and um like pop and syrup it's it's cool i like it it's very different it's a very sweet and a little slight hint of pepperminty in there so it's a very nice scent only this is the only bottle i only had an only had enough to make like a bottle and a half so um i don't have smaller bottles so it's just the one bottle that will be available and that's uh Elf Sweat. I haven't come up with a name yet, but that's what it's scented in. And I think that's why it's a little bit more cloudy because of the vanilla content in Elf Sweat. This one here um, is my personal blend. This one came out thinner as well, and I only have one bottle. Same idea. I only had enough to do like a bottle and a half of um, the Elf Sweat and this personal blend one. This is all essential oils, which I also believe is um, the reason for it being a little cloudy is because of the essential oils because these are the only two that went um, cloudy um, it's still usable there's nothing wrong with it it's just it's not as crystal clear as these ones right um, so that's the elf sweat and this one I it's colored in a little bit of orange it is not as thick it's a lighter consistency um, and this is scented with dark sweet dark orange and sandalwood and just a very tiny little bit of patchouli um, and it's all 100% essential oils. And as you can see, I, I dropped this one too. Uh, I was trying to carry them all and I dropped these two. This one here, um, this one is purple. It looks very black <laughs> on the camera. I'm filming from my camera phone, but it is actually a dark purple. Um, this is scented in Great Googly Moogly, and I haven't thought of a, a name for it yet. But this one smells like a very sweet grape candy, like a grape, yeah, like a grape uh, sucker. It smells exactly like that. So that's, uh, and it, it's purple, <laughs> not black. And this last one here is uh, a Rockstar dupe from Blush's Rockstar dupe, and this is in a peachy pinky color. And this one as well is slightly cloudy. Not too bad, but just slightly. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but these two were made at the exact same time. So I had to separate that one over here so I didn't mix up the two. But these will be uploaded onto Artfire very soon. So once again, these are the only scents I've made. I have Cranberry Spice. I think I have three bottles of that. Um, apple Cider Barrel. I have three. Elf Sweat, I have only that. My personal blend, which is orange, sweet orange, sweet dark orange, I think it's called, um, patchouli and sandalwood. This one is Grape Googly Moogly, and this one is Rockstar. I think I have three of these and three of these as well. So um, if you're interested, leave me a personal message to my YouTube or you can email me at sweetsudsations at gmail.com, which is the same as my YouTube channel, sweetsudsations 
at gmail.com. Um, if you're interested in any of these before I get a chance to put them up on YouTube, um, these bubble up so amazing. Um, just literally, you would probably need, I don't know, maybe like a quarter teaspoon in a bath puff and that's enough to wash your entire body. Trust me. Um, you don't need much of this at all. This has in it, um, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, it has grapeseed oil, oops, it has cocoa butter, oh my gosh, and olive oil, I believe. I'm forgetting the oils right now, but I will definitely put um, a listing on the label, and the listing will have the ingredients. All my listings have the ingredients. These are eight ounce bottles, by the way. Um, I only had a couple of these particular caps, um, so they are all with... Um, this screwed cap. I will probably be um, changing. I'm not sure. I really love this cap. Really love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, but maybe it might be easier to use one of these flip top caps. But I'm not 100% sure because I really think this one is just different and unique. So actually, maybe you guys can leave me a comment below and let me know what caps you think look nicer. Um, whether you like these, which are the flip tops, or if you like these cool ones that are different, but they are a screw off. Of my course, now I can't do it with one hand, but they are a screw off uh, type lid. And I have these screwed pretty tight too. So anyway, um, just signing off here. Just wanted to do the update video because um, I know I posted that video last night um, of the um, when I had made these like back in early September. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, happy soaping guys. I am working on cleaning up my soaping area so I can do a mass soaping of all the fall and uh, Christmas scents that I have. I have so many ideas floating through my head. I have to get them out before I start buckling down with my next assignments at school because I have, um, one more group assignment and three essays coming up to do. Plus, uh, midterms are in like two weeks. I had two tests today, or a test today and a test yesterday, and I'm exhausted, but I'm going to clean this up. And oh, I got to show you something. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to show you my new soap molds. I made these myself. I'm so proud of myself. The last one soap molds I had, um, or my log molds, my brother made for me, but I went to Home Depot today, got the wood cut. The guy helped me figure out the dimensions, and I made myself some slab molds. Now, yes, they are tall, but I figured um, that if anything, I could make a bigger batch and then cut these, kind of like how Tiggy cuts hers, um, into loaves if I need to. Or, But what I want to do is um, that column swirl that everybody is doing. So I figured I could do like a double layer, like how K, uh, Chris from KRC Soaps, K, I think I'm saying that right, KRC Soaps, um, was mentioning so that you can cut two, so you have like two bars like a double thickness so if this was like two inches thick then I can cut the bar in half and have like two bars but I was really wanting the one small size um, because obviously I'm not at a point where I need to make really huge batches but eventually if I ever make it to that point which I hope one day too then at least this would be able to be double as a, a large loaf mold or something like that and I got three sizes and of course here things in Canada are a little bit more expensive in the US but these three molds if you guys can see uh, cost me $24 including taxes and I have enough of the bottom piece to make two more molds if I wanted to I just need to get um, more of this stuff uh, the plywood or whatever this stuff is called. Anyways, um, happy soaping guys and I will be back soon with some more videos. Bye. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot. I have a, a Facebook uh, fan page now. There's nothing much on there. I'm still, I'm, I'm not a big Facebooker, even on my personal one. Um, I don't get on there much, so I decided to create one. Um, but check it out. It's the same name, Sweet Sensations. Um, 
I guess on Facebook, however you search it. I don't even know that, but um, I've put pictures up there of some stuff. And um, hopefully as I get time, I'll be able to put notifications up on there, which I'm assuming that's how it works, of what I'm doing and um, just thoughts of the day and maybe running ideas by. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to work on it. And I'm planning to hold a contest very, very soon. Details to follow. Um, but that's it for my announcements for now. Um, I'm going to get back to cleaning. Talk to y'all later. Bye.